12-year-old Tarana Akbari will probably never wear her best dress again, but in an uncanny coincidence, the blood-soaked garment and her agonized cry have been immortalized in a digital version of the world's most famous scream. A poem on the back of Edvard Munch's painting, The Scream, to explain why he made it, reads in part, Suddenly the sky turned blood red, there was blood and tongues of fire, and I sensed an infinite scream passing through nature. It's a fitting description of a suicide bombing. All around were dead bodies of my cousins, Tirana said, and some of them were missing hands, and some of them were missing their faces. In one of those inexplicable quirks of fate in war zones, Afghan photographer Masood Hosseini was a few feet away and escaped with only temporary deafness. She was uh, shouting, but I, I just could see it. And that time, for me, the responsibility that I felt was just showing that pain, showing that situation. I click, I record it, and I knew that I did my job. Tarana is still going through the pain of rehabilitation. <laughs> When I see the picture, I remember it all like it was a dream, she said, or didn't even happen. Masood Hosseini hopes his Pulitzer Prize winning image of the scream of the girl in the green dress will help people understand that such horror happens here on a regular basis. What is the reality here? How life is too cheap here in Afghanistan? So. To put that in perspective, Munk's scream recently sold for $120 million dollars roughly what it cost to fight the war here for 14 hours. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Kabul.